Hello and welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you are new here. My name is Intrua and if you're watching this video, you probably are a YouTuber that is thinking of improving the quality of video that you're putting out. Or you're an aspiring YouTuber or you're just starting out on YouTube and you want to know if the Canon M50 is a camera that is worth investing in. Will it give you the blurry background? Can you vlog with it? Can you take really up close, really crisp, nice videos with it? Can you take beauty videos with it? Can you even take really good pictures with this camera? Trust me, I have been exactly where you've been and I had these questions and more when I was considering getting the Canon. M50. This is my fourth month using this camera so I'm going to be giving you an honest review what it has been like using this camera and what other items I've had to buy to make using this camera a lot better and if I would consider buying this camera again if I had to decide on that. So if you're interested in this information grab a seat and let's get into the video. So I started actively uploading videos on my YouTube channel around May-ish 2020. And when I started around that time, I was filming my videos on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And I used that for a couple of months. Sometimes I would use a Nikon that I was borrowing from someone. But most of the times I was just using my iPhone 11. Then on October um, 11th, 2020, I got my Canon M50. Yes, I remember the exact date because it was a very special day for me. And I've used the Canon M50 for all my videos up until this point. The Canon M50 came in a box as you'd expect and it also came with a few accessories like a battery charger, it came with one battery, um, it comes with a kit lens which I'll get into a little later. It came with an extra cord, um, a manual and a few other things if I'm not mistaken but basically those are the core things that the camera comes with. So like I mentioned, the Canon M50 comes with a kit lens and the kit lens is a 15 to 45 mm lens. I think you have the option to buy just the body of the camera. I've seen that option on Amazon. So when you buy just the body, you get just the body without a kit lens. But mine came with a kit lens and this is what it looks like. So yes, the Canon M50 camera allows you to switch out lenses. So as opposed to a point and shoot camera that does not allow you to take out the lens, the Canon M50 allows you to take out the lens and you can switch out lenses. The kit lens that the camera came with is great. You can use it to vlog. You can also use it for sit down videos like these ones. I've used it for almost all the vlogs on my channel it is very lightweight it is not heavy at all so moving around with it is very easy it's also very small so it can fit into a purse or a bag and you can carry along anywhere you go that was like that was one of the first things that i absolutely loved about this um camera the lens was okay for all the things I wanted to use them for. Honestly, it does not give you an entirely blurry background. But there's a trick I learned with using that lens. If you're going for a very blurry background, try as much as possible to distance yourself from the wall. So the distance between yourself and the wall should be very far apart and you should be close enough to the camera. With that, you'll be able to get a very decent blur background effect. 
of course my favorite thing about this camera is that it comes with the autofocus option and also has facial recognition if that is what it's called so basically if you're filming sit down videos like this one or you're vlogging the camera on its own is able to focus on your face and you don't have to switch up a lot of settings for that to happen as long as you choose autofocus it can focus on your face no matter how much you're moving when i used to use the nikon camera that i was wearing for some of my videos the auto, there was literally no autofocus sometimes you would sit and record for a long time only for you to go back and play back the video and you are out of focus the whole time the camera comes with a flip screen so that means that you can see yourself when you're filming like right now I'm literally looking at myself right now as I'm filming and you can see what is in frame what is out of frame you can see if you are in focus or not and trust me if you use a camera that doesn't allow you to flip the screen to see yourself you know the struggle yes it can because of the autofocus option anytime you pick um, a product and point it to the camera it literally focuses like that and when you take it out it comes back and focuses right on your face so This camera will allow you to take videos in 4K. That means that it's like really good resolution, really nice, crisp looking videos. The only con that comes with filming 4K videos on this camera is the battery life. If you're going to be filming 4K videos on this camera, prepare to film for like five, okay, five is a little too long, but maybe 10, 20 minutes max because after 20 30 minutes your battery just goes down like it just goes from full to flat almost immediately so for the most part i don't shoot any 4k videos so the first thing that i will advise you to get if you're filming on your canon m50 for long hours is to get extra batteries now i have two batteries plus my one battery that came with the M50, so now I have three batteries and if I want to say film a video in 4K, I can just make sure that all of them are charged and ready to go and then I go ahead and film my video. So aside my two spare batteries, I have another battery-ish. I call it a dummy battery. I can't remember what it's called, but this is what it looks like. So basically, it is a dummy battery. And when I say dummy battery, I basically mean that on its own, it cannot power your camera. It allows you to plug your camera in while you're recording. That's actually what I'm using right now. So it's like you're charging your camera while you're using it. So if you don't want to get extra batteries, this will be perfect if you live in a country that does not experience a lot of power. The next thing I've had to get for my Canon M50 is a microphone. So when I got the M50, I honestly didn't have to use the inbuilt a microphone for when I'm filming, say, so sit down videos like this one because I was gifted a Boya lapel mic. What's up, Flow Shop? Thank you for the microphone. And I used that from day one. But when I was vlogging, I couldn't use my lapel mic because this thing is long. It is very long. If I don't trip while using it when I'm vlogging, probably somebody else will trip. So I don't even consider using it when i'm vlogging and so if you've watched um any of the vlogs on this channel with the exception of the one that i just posted i was pretty much using the inbuilt microphone that came with the camera and it's very decent sound sometimes it picks up surrounding noises but nothing horrible so you can use a canon m50 without a mic and it's great but if you want to improve the overall quality of your videos you want to invest in a microphone now if you're anything like me then the whole blurry background look is one of the reasons you actually want to get a professional camera and so hearing that the kit lens that comes with this camera doesn't give you an entirely um blurry milky background is like a big bummer for you right 
it was for me to honestly speaking but if you use the trick that i talked about earlier you still can achieve some level of blurriness but of course we are not all filming in very big spaces or big studios that allow us to have a huge distance from the wall and us and the camera so that is not entirely attainable that is why i got the 50 mm lens that i'm using right now so my wall is like i could touch this is me touching my wall is not i'm not far from the wall i'm able to get the whole blurry background because i got a different lens which is the canon 50 mm lens the only thing is that you cannot use the 50 mm lens directly with the canon m50 you would need a mount or an adapter and so i got a virtual adapter that i use with my 50 mm lens which allows me to mount that onto my camera so now i have two lenses that i can switch between i use my 15 to 45 mm lens for when i want to film vlog or i want to film at a very wide angle and i use my 50 mm lens for sit down videos like this one or when i want to film say products or really smooth clean b rolls and oh this one this one is just a cup cheers <laughs> yeah, if you're an observant person then you probably um noticed a little switch in my frame there's an explanation which actually leads me to my next point while i was filming this video my sd card got full one thing that i've had to do is to get another sd card so that if something like what just happened happens i'm able to switch between sd cards and i don't have to wait to copy um videos or footage from my sd card before i can continue filming now we come to the ultimate question will i buy or will i pick this camera again if i'm given the option to do so and my answer is yes i would totally totally buy this camera again if i have to do that i like the fact that it's lightweight i can move on with it it can fit into my bag my tiny purse and all of that and it can literally fit into my palm i like that it comes with a flip screen so i can see myself when i'm filming it just makes everything easier i also like the fact that the inbox microphone works just fine and it also does have an autofocus option that saves a lot of time and heady i also like the fact that i can shoot videos in 4k if i have the right batteries to back it up i can confidently say that i've gotten a hang of my settings and all of that but of course there's still room for improvement there's still stuff that i have to learn the thing is that when you do get your first professional camera you probably wouldn't know a lot about using a camera just get yourself a photographer boyfriend and you'll be fine okay just just do that okay maybe not but you learn as you go you practice you make a mistake you learn a few things and if you're looking to drastically improve the quality of your videos and your content as a whole investing in a camera like the canon m50 is definitely something you should consider doing save up for it it may seem like a huge amount when you share the price but if you save say a, a specific amount every month it will only be a matter of time before you are able to afford it talking about savings i make videos on personal finance personal development and basically navigating life as a young adult so if you like that kind of content definitely join our growing family subscribe to the channel if you put the video up until this point chances are you enjoyed the video so give it a thumbs up it helps a lot check out any of these videos on my channel i'm absolutely sure like you would definitely enjoy it and um, yeah i'll see you in any of these videos peace out